Son Benjamin was born in 1978. He was diagnosed at five days old with cystic fibrosis. He had to have at least one or two hours physiotherapy every day and lots of very unpleasant treatment. Despite that, he actually had a, a good life. He loved sport. He ended up at Cambridge studying medicine, qualified as a doctor. At 23, he married his childhood sweetheart and was married for three years. On the 2nd of October 2005, at the age of 26 and a half, he died very suddenly from the effects of cystic fibrosis. Our friends had gotten tested during their pregnancy. They had discovered that they were both carriers of a Jewish genetic disorder. We heard about a screening in our synagogue. Richard went to that screening. We got a letter through the post to say Richard was a carrier of Tay-Sachs when Leah was about 12 weeks old. I went straight to the guy's hospital and I got tested as well, being told I was also a carrier. They said to us, bring Leah down and get her tested as an absolute emergency. And then we somehow left the hospital and got back home and we basically sat there. It was just the worst 48 hours of our lives. We agreed that we would come in on Wednesday afternoon. Somehow we got ourselves to Guy's Hospital. We walked in the door, we could tell straight away mm. that it was all fine. Our lives restarted again. Us both knowing that we're carriers isn't going to stop us having further children, but it just means we can now take the steps that we need to take. And if Leah had Tay-Sachs, it's not a question of she could have a life and continue her life. She would have died. The Genius Programme is designed to ensure that, so far as possible, the most common life-threatening Jewish genetic disorders disappear from the UK community. We didn't know about screening until it was, if you like, too late. Without the programme, people will be completely unaware of these and it's empowering the person to allow them to make their own decisions. It means they have the knowledge. And why on earth would anybody want to take a risk? Why does anybody want to bring up a child that is very unwell, that suffers and may die at a very young age? I don't think any parent should have to go through what me and Lauren have gone through, and this is a way to prevent it. If people realised the devastating consequences of having a child with one of these disorders, they would not think twice about taking the necessary precautions. Mm -hmm.